Alright guys, welcome to a very special edition of Pass or Pull, the series on this channel where I try my best to give you guys all the relevant information you need for an upcoming banner or possibly multiple banners and help you decide whether or not you want to spend your hard earned stones to do some summons. Now, today's episode is a little bit different, it's a you know special 5 year anniversary edition and the title for this video is not Pass or Pull but rather pull or pull because those should be your only two options when it comes to this upcoming Tool Dokkan Fest. No, seriously, I feel like, in my humble opinion, all right, every single person that plays global should be summoning on these upcoming banners. If not only, you know, a couple of rounds, right? A couple hundred stones, nothing crazy, but either way, you should be summoning. And I think most people see it that way. I think most people agree with me, but if you're one of those that are a little bit on the fence, a little bit unsure still about whether or not it's worth it, then hopefully by the end of this video, I can convince you to see things my way. Alright, so before we jump into it, before we talk about the actual units, the blue Gogeta and the blue Vegito, let's uh, set the mood a little bit and take a look at the animations. Alright, so of course we're on the official Dokkan Twitter page, and why don't we start with the Vegito first, because we're gonna go from like really good to mind-blowingly amazing with the Gogeta. No, no hate to Vegito. All right, let me just be clear. I love Vegito, but let's be honest. Gogeta's animations are better. Okay, we're gonna start with Vegito though. Okay, here we go. Enjoy. So of course we're starting with the 12 and 18 key or base Vegito, so before he transforms. The first one was the 12 key, this is the 18 key. They're not bad, but it gets much better. Alright, so that's what happens when Vegito transforms into Vegito Blue. There you go. And here's the 12 key for Vegito Blue. Oh man, even, th even though, like I said, I think Ojita's better, I mean, Vegeta's no slouch. Alright, don't get me wrong. These are still some of the best animations in the game. Here's the active skill. And there's that glorious KO screen right there. All right, so yeah, like I said, guys, I think Vegito has some absolutely amazing animations. Definitely top tier, definitely some of the best in the game. But it's not Gogeta. All right, Gogeta takes it up a notch, takes it up another level. So let me just repeat that active skill real quick. I, I actually think that Vegito's active skill might be a bit better. You know, I, think, I feel like his active skill might be a bit better than Gogeta's, but every other animation for Gogeta, I do feel the superior to Vegito. You know, we're not, we're not here to compare, we're not here to compare, we're just here to appreciate both. So let's move on to Gogeta here, and uh, take us through, you know, take you guys through the 12 key, 18 key for the base Gogeta, and then blue Gogeta. Here we go. That OST too, man. That music is... Oh my god, I love that. I love the soundtrack for both these guys, but especially Gogeta too. I'm just a Gogeta fanboy, let's be real. Alright, I'll, I'll be honest, I admit it. goes blue. It's about to get real, man. Get ready. Get ready. There's the 12 key. Oh, 
There's the 18 key. And finally, the active skill. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. There you go. Yo, I'm getting hyped all over again, man. I mean I've been I've been I've been I've been hyped for the last like two months, but just watching this again, knowing how close it is, knowing that it's literally like one or two days away, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, oh man, these are these guys are awesome. So uh, just animations wise, right? From a production quality standpoint, these two are top notch. All right, so just from that perspective, animations, some of the best in the game, if not the best in the game, Really depends on your preference, how you feel, but I think that Gogeta has the best animations and Vegito is like top five. All right, so let's move on to the actual characters now. These two guys, performance wise, are two of the best units in the game, if not the two best units. I feel like they're still one and two. Vegito at number one, Gogeta at number two. Some people put them in the top three, some people put them in the top five, and I think that's as low as they get. I mean, and most people I think will agree that these are two of the best units in the game. All right, two of the, if not the best, in my opinion. That's just me, all right? So let's uh, start with Gogeta. If you guys already know exactly what he and the Vegito do, then feel free to skip ahead maybe three, four minutes and we'll get to the other stuff. But I do wanna quickly cover it for anybody that at this point still isn't sure exactly what their you know, details are. Leader skill, super attack, all that stuff, okay? So starting with Gogeta, pre-transformation, he's a last resort leader which is a brand new category, or fusion, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%, super attack 12 key is uh, raises attack and causes colossal damage, the 18 key raises attack and causes mega colossal damage, and his passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 3 when attacking and launches an additional attack, that has a medium chance, which is a 25% chance of becoming a super attack, high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack as the third attacker in a turn and then transform when conditions are met and he transforms starting from the fourth turn from start of battle and then once he transforms into blue Gogeta his 12 key raises attack and defense for one turn causes colossal damage 18 key raises defense and causes mega colossal damage passive attack and defense plus 77% at the start of the turn key plus 5 launches an additional attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 7% with each attack performed up to 77% and attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker in a turn and then as the third attacker he launches an additional super attack and high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack as far as the extra boost on his passive the 7% because it's calculated separately once he launches 11 attacks which is the max stacking the max boost he can get he gets 213.29% because once again the 7% is calculated separately all right so 213.29% which means he's gonna hit very 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 hard and also be very good defensively and uh, because he has effective against all types he's just always gonna be doing huge amounts of damage regardless of what the enemy's typing is and also one other thing that some people might not not know about is that if you oh you know what let's talk about the active skill first okay active skill greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage can be activated when facing only one enemy whose na whose hp is 50 percent or less starting from the next attacking turn all right so on the turn you can pop this active skill you can actually activate his entire passive because the way this works is if you put him in the third slot of the rotation and pop the active skill it actually counts as him being the third attacker in a turn right so this part right here and since he was the third attacker in a turn then he gets this additional guaranteed super attack and also a high chance to dodge enemy attacks and then you put him back into the first or second slot and then he'll get that additional attack here and also get attacks effective against all types. So on that turn, in theory, you can launch the active skill, get two guaranteed supers and a, a guaranteed additional normal attack and also attacks effective 
against all types, and possibly another super from the hidden potential system. So that turn could be absolutely insane, even though not a lot of enemies are actually going to survive that. So like most of the time, if you launch the active skill, the enemy's dead. But on some of the really hard events, I guess, like Legendary Goku event, you know, some people could still, like the UI Goku, for example, might still survive. So you might get to see him do some crazy stuff. All right, so that's the Gogeta right there. Moving on to the Vegito, uh, starting with his base form here. His passive actually is exactly the same. His super attacks are exactly the same as well. His leader skill is just uh, Patara instead of Fusion. And also he transforms from the fourth turn from the start of battle. Yeah, his passive is literally exactly the same as uh, Gogeta. But once he transforms into Vegito, his uh, 12 key and 18 key supers, I believe, are the same as well as Gogeta. Let me just check. Uh, yes, same super attacks, but his passive is different. Attack and defense plus 77% at the start of the turn, key plus 2, launches an additional super attack. Alright, so his additional attack is a guaranteed super attack, plus an additional key plus 1, attack and defense plus 7% with each attack performed, key up to 5, and attack and defense up to 77% as the first or second attacker in a turn, and then launches an additional super attack and high chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, as the third attacker. And then his active skill works exactly the same. His uh, boost stacks the same as well, so up to 213.29% after 11 attacks. And uh, just like Gogeta, if you pop that active skill in the third slot, then move him back to the first or second slot, this guy actually can get up to four super attacks in addition to the active skill because you get the regular super attack, of course, just from giving him key, and then an additional super attack from the uh, from being in the third slot, an additional super attack from being in the first or second slot, and then also possibly another super attack from the hidden potential system. Of course, you need dupes for that, right? So, uh, yeah, these guys are just the same, man. If you guys want to see a, you know, video of both of them in action, I did do showcases for both of them recently, so feel free to go check those out. I'll put a link somewhere above my head to probably Gogeta first, and then Vegito, so feel free to click on those and check those out but those are the units guys now let's move on because i don't want this video to be too long we got uh the last resort category i want to take a quick look at this just to show you guys how insane this category is as well so the category consists of characters and techniques that were used as a last resort makes sense we got Gogeta and vegeto as the leaders respectively and uh, we also got some crazy units in this category, man. We got, we got Gumku, uh, LR Baby's great, Majin Vegeta still, you know, at least he hits hard. We got uh, Vegito, of course. We got Super Saiyan 3 Goku. This man's about to get an easy A. We got the, uh, the three year LRs, the LR Vegito, LR Gogeta, LR Gogeta's here as well, the blue one. Uh, free to play Vegito Blue. Um, full power Frieza. And then a ton of amazing TURs too, you know. Uh, HL Gogeta, Super Vegito, Kauken Goku, uh, Turles, we got Zamasu, Vegito Blue again, um, Fusion Zamasu, you know, um, Namek Goku, SSBKK Goku, STR Kefla, STR uh, Cooler, and the list goes on, man. Like, it's just, it's just an amazing, amazing category. It's Vegito Blue, um, Super Vegito, Android 17. Uh, yeah, you get the point. You get the point. It's a very, very, very good category. I want to say it's the best category in the game. I think that still goes to... Actually, I don't know. It's, it might be between Transformation Boost or Realm of Gods, Kamehameha, one of those. But this one is right up there. Like, it's, it's got to be like top five or something like that, right? So, amazing category right there. Even though it's only 150%, uh, it, it's more than enough. 150% is more than enough for this category. And of course, at some point, we will get a 170% leader as well. But there's the category. There's also going to be two other new characters we're getting, or new units we're getting with the banners. We got the uh, Bardock and Gine, which is very, very good, in addition to this Trunks and Mai right here, which is also very good. I'm not going to go over their details specifically because I want to keep the focus. Yeah, I want to keep the focus on the Blue Fusions, but these two are also coming. They're both part of the, well, one is part of the Gogeta banner, one is part of the Vegito banner, and they're both fantastic. And uh, let's move on to the actual banners now, because obviously that's very important. And these guys have some of the best banners, maybe the best banners we've ever seen. All right, each of them has three Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs, in addition to some of the best TURs in the game. So Gogeta's banner has Gogeta, has Int LR Cell, 
as well as LR Gotita. And we also have Fizz Broly, AGL Gotita, Super Saiyan 4 Gotita, who honestly is still quite good, even despite how old he is. And uh, this man's gonna get an EZA soon. This man has an EZA, it's very solid. This man has an EZA and is amazing. And uh, this dude, like I said, new units, very, very good. So the value is just insane. All right, as far as like how many potential LRs and top tier units in the game you can pull with your stones on this banner, I mean, you can't really beat this. And then, I mean, <laughs> I say that, and then I move on to the Vegito banner, and this one's actually even better. This one's actually even better. We got Vegito, we got the new Trunks and Mai, we got AGL LR Gohan, my, what do you call it, white buffalo, white whale, or whatever, you know, you know, like just something that you have been trying really hard to get but just can't get that's this guy for me i'm gonna get him though he's gonna be mine soon we got agl zamasu we got tech trunks this man i wouldn't call top tier per se but um he's not terrible like people will really give him a hard time like unnecessarily he's a decent unit it's just he's not nearly as good as str cooler who replaced him right but I'm actually kind of hoping that they replace him, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, we got Vegito, right, from the three-year anniversary. Uh, Super Vegito, Fusion Zamasu with the EZA, and also Fizz Vegito Blue, who, in my opinion, with the EZA, is the best TUR in the entire game. That's just me. And uh, those are the banners. And the last thing I want to point out that makes this just super, super worth it. I mean, if these were just regular banners, right, just like regular Dual Dokkan Fest, even no discounts, I would still tell people to summon. I would still tell people to summon, but because it's a dual Dokkan Fest on Global, we're also getting discounts, we're getting step ups, we're getting tickets with these summons. Alright, so this is from 4 year, so I don't know exactly what the 5 year one's gonna look like, but I'm expecting something similar. And for 4 year, for the first 3 steps on every banner or each of the banners, we got 30 stone multis for the first 3, so 90 stones the first three multis and the fourth step is free so there's four multis right there for 90 stones and then we get three tickets for each band or well, i mean depends on which banner you're you're summoning on but you know if you're summoning on the gogeta banner you get three tickets for the gogeta banner per multi plus nine tickets for the first three multis so it's three stone multis plus a free multi plus almost a free ticket multi nine tickets so you're looking at almost five multis for 90 stones right per banner so 180 stones is going to get you almost 10 multis, right? So if you're, if you're only, if you want to be, you know, very conservative and you're not, you know, feeling like whaling, which I mean, I feel like you're justified to do, like you, you probably could just justify whaling on this banner a little bit, right? But uh, let's say you want to be a little bit conservative, you want to save a bit. I mean, most likely for somewhere around 180, 200 ish stones, you're going to get almost 10 multis from these banners. So at least do those, at least do the discounted steps all right i mean look there's no guarantee we're gonna get these like discounted steps the 30 stones but i feel like we should i mean we got it last year it'd be weird if they went back and made it worse than it was last year but it is possible so i want to put that out there but let's say we get this again i mean that's insane value right there so you got to do that and then we also have the regular three plus one so from there you're still getting the fourth multi for free even though they're regular 50 price stone uh 50 price 50 stone, <laughs> wait, my words are getting all messed up. Even though they're regular 50 stone multis, the fourth step is always free. So like, you know, you're saving 25% of your stones right there and you're still getting three tickets per multi. It might be, it might be, you know, a random number this time or something like that, but last year it was three and uh, it's probably gonna average out to about three per multi anyways. And these tickets are just more free summons, right? So. You know, that's basically like the best thing about being a global player. I've said this many times. I love this. All right. I mean, if for nothing else, you know, despite all the global shafts or whatever, I mean, I don't feel like we have had that many these days, but, um, you know, despite all the complaints that global players have, this is something that kind of makes up for a lot of things. And uh, we're going to get this again. I know it. It's going to happen. And yeah, man, it's going to add a lot of value to our summons. So definitely, definitely. Uh, take advantage of it. Definitely take advantage of it. So those are pretty much all the things I wanted to cover in this video, man. I mean, I could keep going about a lot of different things, but these are the main points I wanted to hit. And I think that it sh what I said should be enough to convince most people to 
spend them stones, man. It's it's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. Part two of the anniversary is a little bit more iffy. It's a bit more of a question mark. I'll talk about it in a different video about whether or not I feel like people might, maybe people should skip it because we have something really big, you know, after the anniversary. But as far as part one goes, man, I feel like people can just feel free to go all out, go balls deep and uh, not feel guilty about it. You know what I mean? So that's my opinion. That's how I feel. That is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are hyped for the anniversary starting tonight. All right, today is the sixth. So tonight is when the anniversary starts. And uh, in a couple days, in about two days from now, we should be getting the Blue Fusions banner, the Dual Dokkan Fest. And once again, man, to me, must summon. All right, must summon. You just got to do it. But um, I respect everybody's decision. If you know somebody wants to skip for one reason or another, sure. I don't think it's a good idea, but I respect it. I respect it. Okay, so guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below how many stones you're going in. All right, like how many stones you got, how many stones you're planning to spend, how many stones you're gonna save for the download celebration after and all that stuff. But uh, I'm not gonna think about anything else except for these banners until I pull both fusions. So we'll, we'll worry about the other stuff later, but right now, this is all I care about. Um, that's it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.